are factored in, then it's all about the players. That changes the entire paradigm. Anyways, uh, I Shark. think Shark has an advantage though because he can play so many good characters. Even if she loses, he can like go another really good character. Yeah. You should give Shark the game he won. I wish we could, man, but uh, things are different. Two, yeah. <laughs> yep. really it, it's the, the classic starter, man. Hellwind. You know what would be rough if, like, Sharp loses this game since, like, their master already played him that one game? So he, he's, like, familiar with what to do. Yeah, but I, I, I expect to see that what she said. She, just has the frame data to really just keep uh, robbing all the defensive muscle time. Yeah, but I mean, the frame data's to the side, right? Like, uh, look, look at the matchup entirely. I mean, so far, Grandmasters have been doing an excellent job. Like, if Sheik wants to approach, she has to fight something closer than she normally would, right? Nice. Good directional air dodge. Kind of buy himself back in there for a little bit of extra space. Nice. Look at the way the Grandmaster is moving around Sharp a little bit, just being extra cautious. Like, okay, here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump with the cross up right before you get the bouncing fish. Here's the back air. Ooh, both of them with and grabs each other's face and roll away to get the last of your choice. Oh! Fish, no back even, but that's going to be a free punch. Okay. Doesn't fall into that ledge trap at all. He's going to from Grandmaster, probably look how it's done. Ooh! Well, I like that setup too, because that forced Sharp to pick an option there at the ledge, and then Grandmaster was trying to punish the little delayed aerial. Just did not play out. Good parry. Oh, that's a four there. Oh. Man, I thought that was going to be an F-Smash from Shark to get the This is good on Grandmaster 2. He actually had to get a little bit of a oh, oh, Wow, the trade. Did you trade with Forward Air or Pac-Air? Forward Air, Forward Air, Forward Air. I'm going to see the replay here. Give me one second. Hold on, I'll tell you. Just a minute. Forward Air. Wow, she's Forward Air actually. It was hyper strength high up in the- high up like towards the ceiling. Oh, it was Nair. I'm sorry. I got. I just got the. I just got her. Okay. Let's try again. Oh, good tech though. Oh, watch yourself oh. on the fuel there for the L one. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Like you just keep ice guarding Robin, eventually she was <laughs> She and she can definitely do that. Yeah, she can definitely do that. I think the one thing I'm enjoying to see from Grandmaster and how he's treating the matchup is he delays a lot of his aerials, but he's also able to move around Sheik enough. Oh! And did you get the dragon up there you wanted? Nice. 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 That's what I'm saying, dude. He's he's delaying the aerials to mix up the shield timing on Sharp. When, when Sharp would think, like, okay, yeah, I have frame advantage. Then Grandmaster asks, okay, if you have frame advantage, do you? <laughs> Let me go ahead and see what advantage I can get over that. 
Go down tilt the back air though. All the way up top. Shield break. Thunder on shield seems like you're trying to smash. Chuck that eye there. Ooh. Okay, we're still losing. Pressure delay shield. Nice. He dips past everything. Not good enough off for that. Thor on seven plus whatever. Yeah, Grandmaster has to put this cautiously here, but already 26%. This is starting to look like a snowball here. Oh, I'm sure, but Grandmaster spawns. Wow. What a drop down. Like a drop down. Like, you know, so <laughs> Crazy, right? The one option you wouldn't think your opponent to do, right? But Robin's, are, Robin's L1 has some pretty good height. Nice. I like how he just waited for the 11 sword to actually just be a hitbox to break the shit. <laughs> So I've heard some good combos. Okay, Sharp's going for these. Oh. Oh, no, no, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. I thought I thought he got the early spike hitbox in that one, but I was seeing something else. Oh, air bouncing fish still trying to fight. I think he got the ledge though. Ooh, he got the air bouncing fish. Rolling? Oh, he was too late. If he was ready though, that was an like, easy up smash. Mm -hmm. Grandmaster's in the corner here, this tough spot at 120 against Sheik. If I the grab, this is a bouncing fish. Is, oh nice, he waited for it. He wanted to see how Grandmaster would react, because he's kind of known, like, okay, Grandmaster's been hitting me with up airs, so I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. Oh, he did it on that, but no follow-up. Yeah, there's an upper I talked about too. Grandmaster is super keen on throwing that out. Oh, I knew it. I knew you'd go for that down. Oh. Okay. 168, man. If I've ever seen Robin live, it's this percent. Back air. Oh, we're still living. Yeah, he caught him at the oh, end. Oh my god, we're coming out. Yeah, he got no for a little bit. And no yeah. land for Yeah, right. he's in a test. He's burned out their resources. Oh, no two spot back there, is he still living? Does he have it? Yes. <laughs> no tipper down to me? Oh, man. Grandmaster is fighting for All the way to the other side. He knows, bro. I sneeze on him. Oh, oh, that's that's that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. That was actually really scary. Shark. He's missing like, all of his kill moves and just giving Robin more and more rage. I think that kind of comes in hindsight when you think about characters like Sheik and Young Link, right? Where they have like really good damage output in terms of speed and per second. I will, what we like to call it in the FPS genre is the, they have really good FP, uh, DPS. <laughs> but like when it comes down to actually getting the stock, sometimes it's really hard because they need to confirm into a for sure combo rather than a straight hit. And that gives characters like Robin or Bowser in some cases like the ability to make a comeback. Yeah, very, very close. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, so we got the violet switch from Shark here. I guess you didn't like how close that was to Sheik. Grandmaster is a whole different beast, man. But also, this is kind of like an off meta pick. You don't really see how many. Uh, ask yourself, how many Robins do you see in general, especially on Wi Fi? Hit this man with oh, that was close. If he got in the, the first hitbox, which is my hitbox, that would have been curtains on that spot. Yeah, this is a good match though. He gets the cross up and good spacing on the shield, able to actually push around. Yep, this is a gentleman jab. 120, full, almost full charge on the shield. Dude, that was smart. Cause if he that was that was a damn if you do, damn if you don't. And in either way he won that scenario. Like he spot dodge, fine. Down smash and catch it. You don't spot dodge, I can go for a grab or a shield break. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was sharp definitely the one to avoid the shield break my dodge, but the down smash is still actually bad still. <laughs> the option select man. Oh no, not enough on that one. Oh, did he run out of charges? I couldn't see, man. It looked like he was either too low or he only pressed L oh, and like angled it wrong. I couldn't tell, honestly. Oh yeah, he ran out of charges. Yeah, I'm looking at the lead right here. Rolling, but not the hard punch she wanted. Ooh, there to tip her corner. Really good percent. And got the station control, but bottom pressing some buttons. Let's me off the ledge with that arc. Fire and wow, the Florida clicking with the thunder and getting the hit at the same time. That's actually really good for Shark. Oh, nice. nice, another neutral air here. This is a low back oh, air, yep. So good. That was such a good drop zone back there. And being the tipper too, he's waiting on all his options. Very, very nice for Shark. Distance demon, man. And definitely, Violet can go the distance below the stage as well. That's what makes her scary. She's one of the few characters that can just go below the stage and punish you also for being that low as well, even if you're trying to recover or if you're too low. So, Grandmaster always is going for this, uh. The Thunder to dash attack the killer or roll yeah, it's usually a common option you would keep people panic against moves like that in a particular range. No, nice, he's got the book though, so you can play around with that as an extra throw option, I think. No, up there. I thought he caught the book, man. Ooh, I can continue that pressure a little bit, but a little bit too slow. Oh, sharp, good jab. Ooh, great parry punish. Nope, no juggle here, but this is the near. Ooh, almost! Very, very scary situation. The Grandmaster Tech Chase. Oh, no, nope, wanted to get the jab lock. Surprising. I didn't actually see a pilot go for a jab lock. Nice, catching that DI in from the down field. It's really big right now for, uh, for Shark. Oop, too slow with that arc fire. I think that's where definitely Shark King has been capturing Grandmaster with the <laughs> You thought it was safe to move. You are never safe, man. Watch yourself on the ledge. That's that's where. Dude, that really looked like Cloud at the ledge. Yeah. And Joker. He does play both those characters, so he knows how to do, how to abuse that space and move. Sharp is now up 2-0 against Grandmaster. The Violet definitely. So much this this character, I, I don't know why they were like some people were like Violet is mid tier, Violet isn't that good. I was like, no, this character is um, pretty sure high tier. Definitely better Marth, as MKLeo had tweeted recently. I don't know better Marth, but better than Marth. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, better than Marth. My apologies. It's a uh, really interesting to see Violet like. Because that. Definitely has some interesting things she can do in comparison to like the other environment. It's the same thing you said for Robin too though. Ooh, I knew if you get a but he doesn't have the weapons or often, so uh, Okay, wasn't able to kill the Nice, now the shields. Ooh, bad air dodge. Yeah, he's alive though. Yeah, I thought uh, Shark would just go for it and drop some air when he was recovering low. Ooh, man. Grandmaster really good at sneaking in, just like falling up there is out of disadvantage. Yeah, it's a good thing he brought that back, because that was something he did in the Sheik matchup too. I caught this now, I'm telling you man, you have to be careful with Violet up air, up smash, or just Violet in general, because being a buffer is punishable by death or by high percent. Oh, got the extra, uh, no stuff again, being behind Violet. Picks up the book, throws it back down. 
Okay, he likes to play. We'll separate some of the Robin mains from each other is how well they can always play with the fuck out of item. Wow, comes back already on the stage with the back air. Not, the, not a good trade for Gremlin. Like <laughs> no, not at all. Nice. Ooh. That was a really good lead-in. That was a really good lead-in. He like did an excellent job of like just definitely showing him where he can pressure him in situations where he's just trying to withdraw oh. him. Oh no, he fast called the nair. The key to victory lies within. Once get in there, fast ball set up, but didn't pay attention to where he wasn't. That's rough. But if you're Grandmaster, you definitely take those. Even though you probably didn't need that stock, like, <laughs> that stock to be an SD, since you got a pretty good lead. I never know what Shark's gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was like, is he gonna switch to another character? So far, this is the third character Shark has played this set. I think saying Balif is fine. He doesn't need to change. I stand corrected. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate this monkey with his flappy Kermit the Frog looking mouth. These Muppet looking head. Yes, and I love Donkey Kong Country, but I hate fighting Diddy Kong in this game. Alright, let's Hunter. see though. Let's Hunter. see how the Diddy switch works out. Hunter. Hunter. Off the bat, Sharp is playing way faster with Diddy. I think he's trying to overwhelm uh, Diddy right now, but Grandmaster, even like in the shoot match when we saw it, like he's really good at just holding his ground with a piece of box really well. Yeah, it's the one way he can trade. Yeah, it's not also holding his ground, but like, look at he delays his aerials, he's able to maneuver around his opponents to like such a degree where he's able to effectively like cross them up or go for a with punish range option. So. Sharp opportunity has him at the ledge. Ooh. I'm gonna catch that roll in. Oh, missing the banana. It's fine. So got the space control. Ooh, just run up and grab him. Shark was looking for that banana trip, but the landing get caught by yet another level up for the Game Master those. I really like that grab after catching the shield. Yeah, but it's so good it. too, because he reads the, the panic like the directional air dodge option. Yeah, he's pressure with items, nice. Yeah, he's very hard to hit with the banana too. He's playing around it really well. Oh, look, even if he does get traded, he trades with the big health. Oh, he wanted to go for his jump back here. Close though, close though. Oh my god, man. Full cross up. I'm telling you, it's just the way that Grandmaster knows where he has to move. He knows like, okay. Oh, yeah, that was tough. That was tough. That was the craziest deep D back there. Yeah, that was a tough spot. Oh, Gentleman yeah. jab? Oh. Nope. Okay. At the ledge. Oh my gosh. Oh, double down? Yeah. Grandmaster actually drifted out a little bit, so it's like that. Oh man, wasn't ready for that ledge jump before the... Oh, not at all. Still not too uh, difficult for Shark to turn back to. Nice. Power throw, nice. Pulls up out of here and just like that, Shark slowly looking to get the... Catch up on Chen's stock, Grandmaster. Once again, though, doing an excellent job, just having good movement. 
Shard spin is keeping him at the ledge so well right now. I mean, we saw that again. Oh, oh he got past that. That was unfortunate for Shard. And he just rolled through the down smash there. After he got the trick. He still has yet to get touched on this stock. Yeah. So that's good for Sharp, by the way. It's almost a whole minute without getting hit. It happened. Yeah. Did not get touched whatsoever. Great anti arrow smash Sharp. Ooh, oh, that's big. He didn't get the sweet spot on the second up there. It's unfortunate for Grandmaster. Take it. 80% to 50% at this point. Nice. Caught him before he can grab the banana again. Ooh. It's huge. Hard find him before they're half diddy. Trap the ledge. Charge gonna jump past the arc fire, but still. Nice attention from here. Juggle opportunity. Yep. Double up there. Nope. No shield poke with the arc fire. Nice. Ooh. One thing I do enjoy about Grandmaster in this matchup here is when he does a really good job of just like running away, but when he runs away, he runs away with purpose. He doesn't run away just to get away, he runs back because like, okay, he might chase me, so now punish. Arc fire. Arc fire. Arc fire. Oh, caught the rolling! That goes for the thunder instead of like a down smash or anything like that. He's trying to control the banana. 7, 8%. He's gonna do a little bit more work before Rob is in uh, danger of dying, but he's just... Sharp in that case, it's just one death throw pretty much. Let's get it up there though. Oh, he missed his command grab, but no punish. You better not. Gentlemen, probably dropping shield and DI out too. Yup. Yeah. Oh, Those two things in common and tangent bring Grandmaster up to game 5 scenario here in the winner's finals. Alright. Man, Sharp uh, switching the duty there. Actually, it looked pretty good for him, but Grandmaster uh, looked like he was a little bit ready for how to fight that kid. And he's staying good for game five. Okay. Start going to three different characters in this set, feeling out what works. Three, see if the Diddy is one, what he needs go. to uh, secure a spot in the grand finals. Grandmaster going to be able to come back here with the reverse trio. Ooh, the girls are so much better. But right now, Sharp is just taking some really poor trades. Yeah, Carl, pull in the banana. Oh my goodness. Having a really rough time being center. Nope, not going to go for the gentleman and not getting the full jab. Still, really good lead right here. Dealing with those big aerials on shield you're talking about. Very safe pressure here for uh, the Grandmaster. Oh my god, parrying the last hit just so he can get in, but man, it's really rough right now. Oh, the Z dropped to hit him out of the barrels. Well, he let him charge all the way back. I expected uh, Sharky to come back, so he's still the stage. Definitely yeah. can't do that here for this Alright, Shark Guy's taking a chance at life with Z. If he can use it to secure this first stock, I'm going to let you guys right now. Kind of mess is very um, okay. I was gonna say he's very cautious when it comes to like these neutral exchanges. Like he he moves around with a lot of purpose, but he tries to not only get anti hops, right, like a Tamaha grab or a delayed aerial, but he does it so that his opponent can be within a range where he finds it more comfortable to space the area. He's also very very smart about how he deals with the banana. I don't see exactly. how he deals with the banana that much. I think it's a combination of like he knows like I have enough projectiles to also deal with Diddy, but also like Diddy Banana is it's scary, but you know, like I can trap Diddy just as much as well. Sharp's gonna find that down to the next match with the trick. Ooh, I would get that tech chase. The opportunity for a combo. Nice. Sharp actually nice. jumps. Yeah. Yep. I think that's what Charm needs to start doing slowly too, is to punish the jumps. Hunter, 
I can do the game that's tech. Oh my god! What a catch with the arc fire, catching that monkey flip, and keeping him stunned for so long. I'm telling you, man, we've said this in Smash 4 with Insane and Ultimate. Diddy's live and die by that monkey flip. Right, Sharp isn't even abusing it that much. Like, he doesn't use the monkey flip that much at all. But he goes to show, man. Grandmaster tells him, you know, you use it anytime you want, man. I will be there to catch it. Nice. Nice. Dude, caught the banana perfectly before there. He knows exactly how to deal with that projectile. Okay, no fire here. Up on the stage. Banana trap set up. Grandmaster's playing around really well, but rolls into the core smash and has to back the eye to move. Sharp still in this one stop away. Spot in the deck, Miles. Decent trip, Lucky Flip. There's another corner in there. Already even percent off of one neutral one. Down to the wire here in game five. Both people are playing really well. Again, there's a projectile trade. Sharks keep going to get these trips, but uh, Grandmaster is using the projectile at the same time. So if he does get tripped, it'll uh, hit the both the time. Nice tech chase. Use the rollout. Again, catching these rolls. Ooh, bad jump at the ledge here, but he's gonna find his way back. Sharp going for the Z drop down there, not gonna find it. Oh my god, the foot! Getting him out of a potential combo. After he's feeling a little bit of the pressure oh, here. Oh yeah. Oh, that guy on that area? This is a tough spot here to be in. Delays the jump. Good on the recovery here. Comes back really hot with an arc fire. Covers that opportunity. Oh, that is the trick! And that'll do it! Sharp winning game five with the Diddy Kong did come back. Grandmaster looked like he had bad match in the bag pretty much, but uh Sharp just too clean with it, man. And it's really uh it says something too because Grandmaster is playing around with the so well. 